and welcome back to my channel. If you've never seen my face before, I'm at Themis and Nicole Marie. Today, we are doing a Zara haul. I popped into Zara over at Disney Springs, actually, because it's the closest one to me. And let me just say, one, it was extremely busy. I hope you're prepared to be, you know, crowded at anything in Disney Springs right now. Um, but they did have quite a few good looking things out there. So I tried on some dresses, quite a few linen things, some denim as well, mixing and matching all of the swords. So I hope you guys are ready for today's haul. Don't forget to subscribe down below. Please click that thumbs up if you like this video. Without further ado, let's get straight on in today's video. All right, we're gonna start off with the dresses. I found three dresses. And this first one is the only one that has like a typical floral print to it, but it is in this gorgeous blue color. It definitely caught my eye. So let's see how this one looks on. All right, this first dress I'm actually trying on in a size small and it fits really well. It is a little bit more like an oversized fit. You can see the arms are a little bit slouchier looking on. They are like a rolled up cuff sleeve. It has a nice collar neckline, which looks amazing. And it has these kind of wood looking buttons that go down the center. The print is really what caught me on this one. It looks gorgeous. I love the print of it. I just wasn't sure how I was feeling this on me. It does come with a belt to help cinch it in, however, it just wasn't cinching enough to, you know, actually look really good. I don't know. I just, I don't also could be the mirrors at Zara. I just despise their fitting room in general. Um, and I think something's a little wonky with the mirrors because I just felt like it wasn't, I wasn't looking like how I actually look. So you can tell I'm like just kind of iffy and that might be a little bit throughout this entire video. But overall, this one was a decent quality. It was a nice lightweight material. It wasn't quite linen, but it was, I don't know, light enough for the summer in Florida at least. So it was nice. This one, however, was $69.90, which is kind of a steep price tag. Honestly, I probably would not pay $70 for this dress. Overall, it's good, but it's not like amazing quality and I don't think it's gonna, you know, last you for years and years, but it's okay. Again, I still don't think it's worth the price point, but that's just me. All right, dress number two is this gorgeous, again, not linen. I don't know what fabric this one was. It was definitely like a mix and match um, feeling of it. It definitely had a like an almost knit fabric material to it and it had a, a pattern however it was kind of like an off-white again with a nude and it was more textural than like an in-your-face sort of pattern so let me show you how this one was here is the dress on again I'm trying this one on in a size small I will say the neckline of this one is very interesting. It cuts really low and it's just kind of like almost a scoop neckline. And you can definitely see my bra in some of the areas, even though I'm wearing like a balconette bra, which is typically good for lower necklines. However, this one just wasn't cutting it. This one was just extremely low or like the, or the sleeves were just a little bit too long for me because it was just low in the front. It was low in the back as well very hard to wear a bra with this one it was also a semi see-through you can kind of tell that i'm wearing a black bra however it does cover it up better than most so you could definitely get away with a lighter toned bra underneath of it i was also wearing a shorts underneath of this dress because of what i was wearing during the day and that was also see-through as well pretty pretty bad at the bottom um, camera doesn't pick it up as well, but just was kind of more giving like a cover up vibe instead of like an actual, you know, going out dress. So it was kind of like an iffy for me. This one was cheaper at $45.90. So 
definitely more, I would say again, cover up type of price point there. It's a little bit better. However, I wasn't really sure what they were going for in this dress because it didn't seem like it was a typical cover up. It looked like it was trying to be a dress and they just had it kind of semi see through, if that makes sense. All right, dress number three is this gorgeous blue color, kind of similar to this blue I'm a little obsessed with at the moment. And the dress just had potential. So let's see how it looks on. Here is the dress on. Now, I said it had potential. However, it kind of faltered on, on my body. I just wasn't giving what I thought it was gonna give. And again, I think this also could be the mirrors or the dressing room. I just felt like I felt like wider as I was looking at myself than I typically do on a normal basis. So I feel like that could have definitely had something to do with it. But the neckline just wasn't as great as I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be, you know, very, very low cut and more like a cleavage-esque look. However, I was not wearing the right bra for a cleavage look. Overall, again, this dress just felt like it was lacking. The material wasn't that nice. It kind of felt like an, it's not, not a normal fabric, kind of like one of those cheaper fabrics you would find on dresses that are from, you know, some other stores. And overall, I was just not, not loving this one. I did try it in a size small, like I said, and it just felt a little like frumpy on me, honestly. This one was also $69.90 and this, I would say, definitely was not worth it at all. So that one was a huge fail. All right, next up, we're going into the little outfits that I pulled together here. I pulled together a cute little linen vest with some linen pants and I'm excited to show you guys. Here's the outfit on. We're gonna start with this linen vest here. It is gorgeous. I actually love that it has like some pinstripes. They do have quite a few different ones. This one had like more of a red tone stripe in there. They did have one with blue as well. It was a little bit different. And then they also had one that was just kind of, you know, a plain no stripe one, which was really nice. That one was nice, but someone was kind of blocking the view for me to go grab one. So unfortunately I didn't snag one of those, but this one was really nice. I'm wearing it in a size medium. Pants are a linen material. I actually picked this up in a size small and I wish I would have picked them up in a medium because these were so tight to get on and over my hips. I don't have super wide hips, I didn't think. And then these I could literally barely got, get on even though they're like really stretchy. So not loving it they're also a little see-through you can kind of see my underwear line in the back and these were actually really really itchy i was not not loving how these ones felt on they're not like a comfortable linen material they're definitely the more scratchy linen material the vest was 49.90 so not terrible it was a little little higher in the price point but it is zara so for that, it was actually good quality, so I'd say this one is kind of makes sense for the price. The linen pants, on the other hand, were $47.90, so not much lower in price, and I would say those are definitely not worth it. The two types of linen on these were definitely different. The top was much more comfortable and soft, whereas the pants were scratchy, so. Just be aware that the linen is not all the same across the board at Zara. All right, next up I paired a denim short that they had with a cute little pearl top and these really caught my eye, so let's see how they look. Here's the outfit on. This pearl top is so cute. However, I tried this on a medium, which is like true to size for me and it was extremely tight. I had to peel this on my body and off of my body. It was just extremely tight and I don't really understand why. The sizing was just kind of off with this one. The shorts on the other hand 
were perfect fit. However, they just didn't, weren't giving a good look. I feel like they weren't that flattering from the back. They also had like a little roll up going on with them. They were stitched to roll up. They didn't really stay that well. And it rolled up so thick that between your thighs, you could definitely like feel, feel it. It was in the way. It kind of like just gave it a weird look and weird feeling in just overall. Wasn't, wasn't really working for me. So I did try these on in my true to size, which was a 38, which like I said, the fit the waist pretty good. And it was just kind of like the bottom part, the cuff area where it just looked weird in the back and the front. So not a huge fan. The top was the cheapest so far at $29.90 and the pants were $35.90. So this was definitely the cheaper outfit so far. And unfortunately, they just didn't work out that well. I would say the top was definitely worth the price point. You just have to size up, I think, because that was not normal for that, a size medium to be that like tight on me. So I would definitely recommend sizing up in that one. Next up, I finally tried on a denim vest with a cute little white skirt. This one is actually kind of one of the longer maxi skirts. And I tried to find this one, I think, at Aritzia, but they only had short ones. Still the same kind of look, but let's try it out at Zara. So this is the denim vest. I actually really like this denim vest. It was really, really nice. Good quality. Not too thick and also not like a super thin material. Felt like the right type of denim for a vest. And I did try this one on in a medium. However, it is a little bit roomy. I could have probably tried a size down, but I did prefer it being a little bit roomier just with, I don't know, how the Florida heat is. And also, if I went down to a small, I did not want it to be super, super tight and like hug my chest. So I actually did prefer that this one was a little roomier. The skirt I am wearing in a size small. It fit perfectly. It has a stretchy waistband with a drawstring. However, it is a, not white white, but more of an off white. And you could still see, you know, my underwear underneath of it. It was a little bit see-through still. So definitely would have to purchase like a different slip or hopefully a nude pair of underwear could fly with it. I'm not sure. These were both really cute. I love the outfit together. The denim vest was $35.90. And let me just say that is definitely worth $35.90, I think. That was, that was gorgeous. Absolutely loved that one. Probably should go back and get it, but we'll see. The skirt, on the other hand, was $69.90. And it definitely was not worth $69.90. I don't know where the price jump from that was, but that was not it. <laughs> um, yeah, definitely not worth it. All right, we've got one more outfit here. This one was the first one that I actually found. It was like this cute little tank top. It was almost like a razor back looking one. And then I found another pair of linen pants. This one came with a belt, which matched the top pretty well. So let's take a look. Here is the outfit all put on together. And let me say I had high hopes for this one and it just failed in every aspect of everything. The tank top was supposed to be meant to be kind of without a bra. So I went for it and I tried without a bra. It did have like a shelf bra in there. Um, let me say it doesn't do anything if you have a larger chest like I thought it would, but I thought, why not? Let's try it out. The size of it was doing really weird things. The back of it was super, super cute. It just wasn't working for me at all in any way, which is very sad. Going into the bottoms here, again, the linen was really scratchy on this one. It kind of had this weird bulge thing going on right at the crotch area. Um, I'm sorry that I couldn't actually get the belt on far enough to where it would actually like help hold it up because they actually stapled the little shoplifter thing to the belt and the pants together so I couldn't move it, which was a little unfortunate. 
Um, and I do wish that they sold the belt separately because I would have bought it but they don't sell belts apparently separately they only wet, put them with the clothes which is really annoying because I've been on the hunt for that color of brown belt and I finally found it and I have to buy the pants with it that I don't want so that's a whole other thing but the pants where I was wearing was a size small they still fit big and baggy so not not great they were at $49.90, also would not say that they're worth that in any way, so we're just going to skip back to the top, which I tried on in a medium to help with the chest. I should have sized up yet again, but I just don't think it's going to work for me no matter what size I got. The top was $25.90. If you are smaller chested, I would say definitely go try it out. It's going to be really cute on you guys, but just not for us larger chest women. So that was a fail. That is everything I have for the Zara haul. I hope you guys really enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe down below. Click that bell notification so you're notified of every time I post a brand new video. And please hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!